so hi everyone welcome back to data science in a pocket and google has released a new paper that is google sun catcher that talks about using ai in space near the sun yes you heard it right it's an ambitious paper but what a paper it is i was just reading it and it's quite fascinating where they're trying to solve the compute problem that is present on earth with because of limited data sources and energy on sun so just yesterday they have released this paper meet project sun catcher a research moonshot to scale machine learning compute in space so in this short video i will be explaining what they're trying to do what they're trying to achieve and what is not solved yet it's an ambitious paper for sure sun catcher ai in space moving ai computation of earth to harness the power of sun so first of all let's understand the basics what is project sun catcher it is trying to move ai computation of earth towards sun fleets of satellites running tpus so basically they would be launching a series of satellites that would be holding on the tpus that are getting powered by directly sunlight solar energy and these satellites would be communicating with each other using laser beam communication why space i think it's, it's a very interesting question Earth's running out of room and energy, that's for sure. We don't have space for humans, we are for data centers. And sun's output is humongous. The energy that sun produces, it's just unmatched. Sun panels, solar panels in orbit get sunlight almost all the time. No cloud, no night, no waiting. So, energy is 24-7 available, that too in huge amounts. How it works, how the sun catcher works, the proposed idea. About 80 small satellites would be in a very tight circle. Each satellite would be having solar panels, TPUs for computation and optical system. Laser links would be built between satellites so they would be communicating using laser links and data transmission speed would be 10 terabits per second per link. That is humongous. But now comes the real question, is it feasible? So first question is can TPUs survive in space? So it's the Google's alternate for GPUs if you don't know. Yes, it may. So they tried it out on some extreme conditions and TPUs worked fine. No permanent chip failure at 20 cross radiation also. A few bit flips in memory, that's for sure. But I think apart from that, no major faults were found out when, when they were faced to harsh climatic conditions, the TPUs. What about the cost? I think you might have assumed that this would be a highly costly project. So the current cost is about 3.5, 3.6K dollars per kg with Falcon 9 and future they are expecting over to less than $200. That's a great expectation. And if that works, that would be crazy, crazy number. So as you can see that space solar power station would cost us around a little over, I think double over Earth data centers, but it's worth it as you can see the orbit problem there are multiple other problems also uh, they are expecting to have 80 satellites within a range of one kilometer that is very tough orbital dynamics affect formation stability satellites also oscillate around each other and machine learning based flight control maintenance it's at a very high altitude so it's, it's a difficult thing to maintain these many slides uh, satellites in this closer range the hard stuff they haven't solved yet so basically heat tpus generate serious heat no air to cool down so what will happen ground communication so till now what they're expecting is they would be sending up tpus in the air and all the com uh, computation would be happening in the space but how would you send the results back to earth because eventually work is happening on earth so that hasn't been figured out yet and maintenance can't replace chips in space if something falls out it's go it's damaged forever the bottom line, I think AI has become an energy problem now, an infrastructure problem rather than a intelligence problem. Google's answer is to where the go where the power is. The most power is with sun, so go to that place. Not build bigger data centers, build small suns in orbit. If AI eats power, go where the power is. This is the quote they have mentioned in the paper and quite apt. It's an ambitious paper looks very tough but i think we have done uh, more serious stuff than this so i think this is quite possible the paper looks very interesting i would highly suggest you to read it out thank you so much